Amigos! What's up? Welcome back to our channel, Atrocities Upon Cities, where today you're gonna continue to see another short video on this French drain and all the drain work that we're doing at this new landscape project house that we started last week. We've been here for a week already. It's a little bit of the holidays and gifts getting to meet the new client that things are going back and forth. We can't all get on the same page, but the clients are great, still getting everything done. So am I, we're back and forth making sure we have a little trouble with this clay dirt stuff material. You guys can see it took me a long time to be putting water one day and coming back the next day to get a couple inches out that clay stuff really kills out here in california but you guys all know how we do the french drains out here we give it the burrito style i should have worked in a mexican restaurant since i'm mexican i'm great at doing burritos out here you guys can see how it goes i'm going to be able to get both sides of the sheet and wrap it around because i'm tuck it in do whatever you gotta do to make sure it looks just like the way we want it so so far so good we're gonna make sure that we use stakes on very crucial points like the beginning we're gonna put double the stakes so like that we're able to just continue working on everything that we need we're gonna be making sure that we continue progressing on all this job we'll show you how fast we're going we're already walking to the beginning again and we put rock in between we put rock inside of the paper then we cover it up a little and we put more rock on top of it and make sure that the drainage just does everything it's supposed to do since the clay out here doesn't allow the water to seep through fast enough we're gonna make sure that we put all sorts of rock in here and then hide it so we can make sure that nobody sees the nice drainage that we put but we got that water of areas there still sitting we had the auger out here for a whole week already waiting for it to time to shine and towards the last day of the drain we had enough time to spare so we can make sure we put in that new a hole for the water to sit at the end I'll show you guys too we're like back to the front again where we're going to show you that we already hit all the rock we already raked all the nice little fine dirt back on top there's two inches of fine dirt in all this property and once you get over those two inches there's about a whole foot of clay and it just keeps going to clay so i'm sure it stays clay as these houses are elevated so the water stays on top when it rains or over floods the problem is that there's walls and new additions that makes these house flood so you have to landscape it add a new permeable um product so the water seeps through faster than the clay that it has here so decomposed granite is always a good thing you guys can see the auger did a great job we made sure that hole was in two feet from the line of the level of the home so we're back to finishing this you guys can see this was done a done product we did great so thanks to all the new subscribers and everything else that we do out here all the new people following us everyone that keeps tuned to watching our videos on facebook instagram and youtube we also have a tiktok you can always find us under atrocities upon cities hashtag tag AUC amigos so this project is done we're just going to bring the drain box uh, the next time you'll see the video of us starting with the drain box and now we're going to continue the next phase of the project which is adding irrigation to the new plants that they're bringing I think they're bringing from 12 to 10 to 12 plants depending on which ones they choose with but you guys can see I have a new trench already that's where irrigation's going they have a one quarter poly tube going in he wants to upgrade it to a half inch um pvc pipe so we're going to be doing that we're going to be adding all the threadings and everything that they need i'm going to have to go get the material like always i tell people it's getting so hard and expensive to get to the stores that i try to charge for the time lost but this is a very good friend and they're great clients so we're just going to make sure that the, we do whatever we got to do to make sure we bring receipts and we're all on the same page like that everything makes sense it's always better to just keep everything um nice and straightforward with the customers you know sometimes makes you look a little bad because you're the business they don't want to do straightforward things i tell people straightforward so i respect i expect a straightforward response from every client that we deal with but we'll be dealing with a lot of clients this year thank you to the rain so thanks for everybody watching a u c amigo